Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be telling you how to solve the crashing problem, the most famous problem of operation research or industrial management part and uh, this is related to industrial management and this is the main important question generally asked in gate as well as IES exam. Now before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also check out the description given at the bottom and do check out my other videos. All the links are given in the description. If you find this video helpful, please like the video, comment and share. Now this was the question. These are the activities given 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 5. This is the normal time. This is the cost, normal cost. This is the crash time. This is the crashing cost. Now what you have to do? This is not given. This I have drawn. This you have to draw. You have to draw the diagram corresponding to these activities. How you can draw? Just begin with 1. Put in circle from 1 to 2. So you put arrow and you mark with 2 from 1 to 3. So put one arrow again from 1 towards here and you write 3 in circle. Now 2 to 4. So 2 towards arrow you write 4. 2 to 5. 2 arrow here you write 5. Now 3 to 4 you connect here. 4 to 5 you connect here. You write the corresponding time taken that is normal time taken. From one, for 1 to 2 it is 8 so I have written 8 and similarly you can write all the time. Now there are three paths. You can see 1, 2, 5 that is first path, first path 1, 2, 5. Second is 1, 2, 4, 5. Second path 1, 3, 4, 5 is the third path. Now you calculate the total time of completion of the project for each path. It is 18 days, 13 days and 12 days. So here it is maximum 18 days. So it is the critical path of our question. Remember that you can only crash those activities which are on the critical path. Alright. Now in books sometime they are, there is a confusion. But be clear that you have to only crash the critical activities. Now in books also they all calculate the cost slope for all the activities. You don't need to do that. You only calculate the cost slope for those activities which lie on the critical path. Now cost slope is given by crash cost minus normal cost upon normal time minus crash time. So cost slope for 1, 2 because 1 to 5 is the critical path. So activities lying on 1 to 5 is 1, 2 and 2, 5. So cost slope for 1, 2 that is this 1, 2 is 1, 2 is 200 minus 100 upon 8 minus 6 corresponding to this formula understood 200 minus 100 upon 8 minus 6 it is 50 per day and for 2 2 5 it is 400 minus 100 upon 10 minus 5 is equal to 60 per day unit is 60 per day so then you have to take the minimum cost slope and the question was this project can be crashed maximum by two, two days that that is you have to find the cost for crashing so the answer would be for two days it would be 2 into the minimum cost slope that is 2 into 50 is equal to 100 rupees that 100 rupees you have to bear if you have to complete the project in less than 18 days by two days that is 16 days all right so maximum you can complete in 16 days if you follow this this path so this was the total cost for crashing this problem now if you have found this video helpful please like the video comment if you have any doubt and please share this video and if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button in the next video, I would be teaching you more such uh, questions and till then, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.
Whatever I say, I'll remember your 